Today we're going to be talking about a list of things that made me realize how gay I really am. And I saw a YouTuber the other day make a video called Things That Made Me Gay. I thought it was funny, but I really don't agree that things make you gay. I really think that people are just born that way. If God makes you gay, if you believe in God, I don't fucking know. So this is just my personal list of things that made me realize that I'm fucking homo. Number one, the first memory I ever had of feeling some type of gay attraction to anyone or anything was Frodo from Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the fucking Ring. I just, I remember I had the video game actually, and there was like a clip from the movie in the video game. And like the lighting was just right. There was like a little glisten in his eye. I thought his eyes were so beautiful. I just remember like my heart started pumping and I was like, okay, damn. That's a cute man. Looking back now, he's really not like my type of guy. So it's weird how your taste changes. <laughs> the second thing is I never really liked sports. I remember being in elementary school. All the dudes would go out and like grab the footballs and the basketballs and like the kickballs. And they would all like run out to the field because they wanted to like fucking play sports and tackle each other and shit. But me, I always wanted to stay back with the girls and I wanted to fucking do double dutch jump rope. That was my shit. And you know, I remember my brother told my dad that I would like jump rope with the girls at recess because we went to the same school and my dad like got mad at me for it. <laughs> he was like, that's really gay or like whatever he said, I don't know. So that was another thing that just made me realize like, I'm not like those boys. <laughs> okay, wow. The next thing I feel like a lot of gays can relate to, when I'm playing any video game, I always lean towards female characters. I prefer the female characters. I feel like gays, they just like love women. Like they stan different female celebrities like Ariana Grande or you know, Mariah Carey or like whoever the fuck. And so whenever I would play like Super Smash Bros, I would play as like Peach or Zelda or Daisy or like whatever female characters there were because you want to be like that bad bitch. I don't know what it is in us gays, but that's just how we think and feel about women. We just like stand powerful women, you know what I mean? The next thing that made me realize that I was gay was Dragon Ball Z. You know, cartoon crushes are a weird fucking thing. But you know, in anime and in fucking Dragon Ball Z in particular, which is what I used to watch and play when I was younger, there's just a lot of fucking ripped guys and you know, they got like this tall hair and they're just like chiseled and like they have like these amazing bodies and I just remember being like attracted to that. That was like when I realized that I loved like muscles on guys and I feel like a lot of gay guys like that shit. Just like muscles were always like and they still are just like very attractive to me. When I see like a very muscular guy, I think it's like the sexiest feature on a guy is like if they take care of themselves and like they're fit. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> or just like bigger guys in general. They don't even have to be like super muscly, but like just like bigger than me, a man that can dominate me. <laughs> wow, okay, this is cringe. If my family members are watching this, please exit it off. And I guess this one kind of goes hand in hand, but I remember watching like, Terminator or like Predator and Arnold Schwarzenegger was in those movies and he was just so jacked and I thought it was like hot. I didn't understand like how I was feeling when I was younger. I didn't know how to like put that into words but looking back I was like yeah I definitely was like attracted to that and I was like intrigued and like I just fucking wanted that. <laughs> I was fucking like 12. <laughs> and then when I got to high school I started listening to Kesha religiously and she's like that female figure kind of that I talked about that I like felt empowered by you know and she was just like a bad bitch and she didn't care what anyone thought and like I learned all of her songs I felt like a fucking badass every time I would play her music and I still am just obsessed with her and so that was another thing <laughs> I know for a lot of gays it's like Ariana Grande is huge in the gay community or like Beyonce, those are two really big ones. And the next thing is only connecting with girls. Like as far as friendships go, like in junior high and high school when you start talking to like girls or like the opposite gender, I realized how strongly I connected with women. And I, I hate to make this sound like stereotypical and like gays are like trying to be girls, like that's not how it is. But um, you know, for some reason, us gays, we just connect with women more because we have similar traits. 
um, and like characteristics and thoughts and we both like guys and so it's fun to talk about that shit. And so, you know, I always had girlfriends. Um, even before I came out or anything, I hardly ever had guy friends. And I think that's the case for a lot of gays. <laughs> Alright, the next thing is when I got into like, you know, everybody goes through a phase where they look at porn or like, you know, I'm still in that fucking phase. But when I first started like getting curious about like looking at shit online, I would just Google like hot guys or like muscled men. I didn't like type gay or anything. It was like very secretive. You know, I was probably like 14. And you know, that's what I fucking jerk off to. Straight up, Google images. You don't even need porn. It wasn't even porn. It was like just shirtless dudes, okay? And the next thing is Tinder. I remember being on Tinder. All my friends had Tinder. Um, and we'd like hang out and like do Tinder shit together and like talk to girls like it was fun and like whatever. When I went home by myself one night, I switched it to men and I was like, this is so much better because like I'm actually attracted to these guys. It just made me like realize like I don't enjoy being on like the straight Tinder. I like to be on the gay side of Tinder <laughs> and like it's more fun. I can connect with these guys. And that was honestly a big part of me like accepting myself as gay is talking to gay people online and like hearing their stories and just realizing how common it is because I was kind of very religious and like shielded from the gay community. Well, the next thing is Theo James. Okay, when I was in high school, Divergent, that movie came out. I went and saw it. I was still in denial of my homosexual side. <laughs> and I just remember thinking, damn, this man's fucking cute. I eventually bought the movie and me and my sister would rewind the kissing scene for multiple times. And you know, I remember she would just be like, he's so hot. And I'd pretend like the girl was hot. I'm like, oh yeah, she's so hot. Like it was just like this thing, but I really was just looking at the guy. You know what I mean? And he's still one of, Theo James is still one of my like, biggest celebrity crushers. I just think he's like a very beautiful human. Next, the thing that really made me realize was kissing women, okay? I've kissed a few girls in my day, never enjoyed it, it always felt wrong, it felt weird, I didn't feel like any type of connection or chemistry, it like, women like smell gross and that's like a chemistry thing, you know like when you have good chemistry with someone and like, you know, they fucking taste good, they smell good, like, I've never had that with women. And I remember I had like cuddled with girls. And I remember always thinking that girls like smelled gross. One of the first guys I ever really like um, connected with and like kissed or anything like that. Um, they smelled so good, they tasted great. <laughs> it was just so cringy to talk about. You know, that was like when I realized, I was like, fuck, like this is it. This is my life, like I'm fucking gay. That was like one of the biggest things because I was in denial for so long until I actually kissed a guy. That was like the one thing that really like had me convinced like I'm gay. Like this is me, it sucks and it was really hard to accept myself. But you know, once you like kiss a dude and you like it, you just know. If you kiss a guy and you like it and you still claim that you're straight, you're probably not, <laughs> okay? I think I've kissed three girls and I never enjoyed it. Um, it was just gross, it just felt so wrong and I hated it. Okay, well, I think that's about it for a list of things that made me realize that I was gay from my childhood to now. <laughs> so I hope this, I don't know, helps someone? I don't fucking know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be trying to post new videos more and more. It's been hard for me. I feel like the last year, like 2019 was such a bad year for this channel. I probably uploaded like five videos. Have a good day guys, I love you all. If you haven't checked out my ASMR channel, check it out. It's called Tyson ASMR and uh, it's popping over there. So, <laughs> wow, I just farted, <laughs> I hate my life. I'll see you guys in the next one and bye.